Yeah, hello. So uh, my lawnmower doesn't start, and I'm pretty sure that the ignition coil is defect, so I want to replace that. And so I'm going to check this out today here. So I start out by removing the spark plug here just by unscrewing it, and then I actually put it back in here. I, I reconnect it, and I'm leaning it here against the engine block, and then I'm trying to start the engine just to check if there's a spark. So right now you can see there is no spark, so uh, it's possible that the ignition coil doesn't work. So I follow here the cable here, and so the ignition coil is up here towards the uh, flywheel. So this is all covered up. And so let's remove all these parts here. So every lawnmower works a little bit different, but in general you just remove all the parts until you reach the uh, flywheel and the ignition coil and this is already done here now so here we have now access to the ignition coil here we have the armature the, uh, the coil itself in the middle the black piece here and then also here on the below we have this little black wire that's the uh, kill switch wire we want to make sure that this is correctly assembled right now and connected in case this is loose and leaning against something else then this may already be the problem so uh, make sure this is connected right otherwise there will be no spark if this is not connected correctly okay so then the, we also have here this gap between the flywheel and the ignition coil we want to make sure that this is correct i'm going to show you how to measure this how to figure this out in a little bit but for now, I'm going to remove here the old ignition coil. But be careful when we remove it here. There's still the uh, wire here attached to it. So uh, I'm going to take this off here. And now I have already here my new ignition coil. Pretty much looks almost the same, very similar. And don't forget here to reconnect the uh, kill switch wire here. This is really important that you do that. Don't forget to do this. And then I'm going to reattach here the uh, ignition coil but i'm not going to tighten the uh, screws here all the way you can see here i'm still able to move this back and forth because now we have to adjust the gap between the ignition coil and the flywheel and i'm doing this by taking here just a simple piece of paper and i fold this in half and uh, now we see here on the flywheel you see here these magnets here so these magnets those should be right in front of the ignition coil so i'm loosening the brake here and then i'm uh, moving these magnets right in front of the ignition coil and now because it's a magnet so the ignition coil is going to be drawn right to it so i'm going to pull the ignition coil away a little bit and then i take my piece of paper here and i put it in between and as soon as I've done that, now I can tighten up the screws so that the ignition coil doesn't move anymore. And uh, so I'm using here this piece of paper because the distance, the gap between the ignition coil and the flywheel should be between 0.1 and 0.3 millimeters. And uh, this piece of paper, when you fold it in half, is about 0.2. So that should be good enough here, this setting here that I have. So now I'm going to remove the uh, piece of paper again and then I'm again loosening the brake here and I'm rotating the flywheel just to make sure that there's plenty of a gap. There's no contact, direct contact between the flywheel and the ignition coil. And then as last step here, I'm going to check again that the kill switch wire is still correctly connected and didn't come loose in the process here. So now I just put everything back together just to reverse order and as soon as i've done that i'm going to check for the spark again so again i'm going to connect here the spark plug lean it against the engine block and then pull the pull string here and now you can see here we get a spark so i'm putting it everything back together now and let's fire it up to see if everything works and you can see here this works just right so uh easy fix really quick in case you have any more questions, then please leave a comment below and don't forget to check out my other lawnmower repair videos.